All right, all right. So <laughs> I'm driving to get Matthias, and <laughs> my phone starts playing Jingle Bells. And by that, I mean ding, 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 bong, bing, ding, 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 bing, bong. Just like every possible notification sound. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I checked Stu first, and he's, everybody's talking about the park contract. And I'm like, I have no idea what's going on because I'm driving. And, and that's, that's par for the course with this, with this channel. You know, as soon as I leave the house, even if I just leave the house to get on the lawnmower, Something's going to break. So, Alexander Barkov. Now, we're going to look at this together because I re I've just been driving. I just walked back in the door. That's so why I barely had a time, a minute, to digest this. So, years one through three, the $11 million, $11 million signing bonus with a $1 million salary. Year four, 10.6 signing bonus with a $1 million salary. Year five, $9 million signing bonus with a $1 million salary. Year six, $7 million signing bonus with a $1 million salary. And year seven and eight, $6.2 million salary with a $1 million signing bonus. So he's at 12 for the next three years. And then it goes down progressively to where by the time he's on his last two years, it's like a 7.2 cap hit. Just, just, I got nothing. I can't not. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you he was going to do it this way with the $1 million signing bonuses? No, I didn't. Nobody did. Nobody, nobody called this. Anybody saying they called this, just send them right out the pasture as a big fat liar. Nobody saw this one coming. This one, Bill Zito just got me pregnant with this contract, okay? I'm six months pregnant with this contract right now because that's absurd. I, I... Cannot physically believe this. This says a couple of things. Let's just let's just breathe here, Jaws. Breathe for a second. Number one, it says obviously Barkov wants to stay a Panther collectively the rest of his career. He's not stupid. He realizes that he's as he starts to get to what 33, 34 years old, he might not be worth 12 million a year. So he reduces the salary as he goes, so that his salary is is equal to his ability as he gets older beautiful 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 more hockey players should do that then you wouldn't get traded all over the place or bought out etc etc but that's a different story so from that sense it's a team friendly deal now he's got his salary this year and then obviously the next three seasons we got at 12 million dollars okay um that's still not optimal in other words we still are going to have to make room here and and move some things around for that 12 million dollars to fit now next year we won't have a problem we have the Yandel cap hit but we don't have to sign huberto until you know he won't have to pay him the extra money for the one extra year so this buys us this this season obviously but it buys us next season as well and then one more year after that, if I'm doing my math right. But somewhere in there, somewhere in there, the Bobrovsky contract, that's what I'm trying to get to. Somewhere in there, the Bobrovsky contract will have to be addressed one way or another. Um, let's hope Spencer Knight just addresses it for us. You see what I'm saying? Now, in terms of this deal, what I've heard, well, when I say what I've heard, and I read in the thread, what I'm, what I'm getting is that this the, the, the every the cap counts for everything in other words you can't just say it's one million dollar um salary so uh that only counts against the cap the whole thing counts against the cap the thing that i saw in the thread that somebody can correct me if i'm wrong is this about taxes so like the the big money this other states and other like canada they collect taxes on the money you make when you're there right so um but they can't collect the taxes on the signing bonuses, only on the salary. That's what I read in the thread. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But that sounds about right, because why else do it that way? So There's a reason to have done it that way. So basically, he's taking a little bit less money from us, because we formatted the contract in a way so that he won't lose a certain percentage of his salary to paying state taxes everywhere else. And that's something I know a little bit about. 
because I've been selling on the internet since 1999 and it used to be it didn't matter where you sold it it was just you just sold it and now all the states no matter where I sell it eBay has to collect that state's sales tax on the item so eBay collects it from the buyer and sends it to the state so all the states have got their hands in the pie now so I would assume that that is why this contract is done that way so that he's only paying the taxes the state taxes on an individual basis on the salary and not the signing bonus beautiful 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 I'm so happy to get this done and now now we can sniff around and have an idea of what of what Huberto is going to do because Barkov just said checkmate Johnny okay in in terms of in terms of I am you know in terms of being like team friendly team friendly hey we want to win the cup let's keep the band together Barkov just set the bar okay so Huberto now I mean he kind of has to play ball he kind of has to to sign a team friendly ish deal similar to this I mean he doesn't he technically he doesn't have to but you get what I'm saying this kind of puts the ball in and Huberto's court uh, just Bill Zito Bill freaking Zito let me have your baby unbelievable unfreaking believable that is the most beautiful hockey deal and I've been saying this Florida Panther fans this is the last thing I'll say this is what competent management looks like. I know as Panther fans, uh, we ain't all familiar with what competent drafting, development, and signing of your players looks like. This is what it looks like. This is why other teams like Tampa and Pittsburgh and, uh, you know, the, the Colorados for the most part, you know, this is why teams are, they seem to always be good. No matter what, guys come in, guys come out, guys come in, guys come out. It's because they have competent management. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like, Panther fans. Get used to it. This is beautiful. This is good, 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 good. All right. I'm stoked. I'll see you guys tomorrow.